Hello everyone, we are back with another interesting topic and in this video we will see how we can debug the lightning web components in a browser. We will see how we can troubleshoot the JavaScript code, how we can apply our custom styling uh, to the HTML through a browser. So let's start. Firstly, how we can debug the JavaScript in Salesforce. So you have to first enable the lightning components debug mode then we will see we will see the use of console.log statements we will see the use of debug points in the browser and then we will see the network calls that are that can be uh, seen through the network tab of the browser let's say you make any apex call so that is a network call right so you will have to debug it from the network tab of the browser we will uh, shortly see it now uh, we will also see how we can add styling to our html file using just the browser so so why are we using browser to add styling to the html file basically this helps us in saving time we can uh, add our styling and the browser uh, that styling gets rendered in the runtime and as soon as as soon as we have the our styling ready we have the css ready for the styling we can just apply add it to our html file Awesome. Now I am in my org, the first step is to enable the lightning components debug mode. So how do you enable it? So firstly go to setup and type debug mode and click on debug mode. Here you would see all the users and you can select the users uh, for whom you want to enable the debug mode and click on enable. Another way to enable the debug mode is like for the current user you can click on uh, the profile icon you can click on settings then click on advanced user details click on edit you will see a checkbox with the name as debug mode here it is so you can enable or disable the debug mode from here okay so for me it is already enabled as soon as you enable it just uh, right click click on inspect and uh, then right click on the reload button of the browser and click on empty cache and hard reload. What this does it, th this empties the cache and then do a hard reload for this website. Okay, so now we have this LWC component. This LWC component searches for all the contacts in our uh, org. So I'll have to provide it some key and then it will return me the results. So right now it's saying that results not found. Let me click on, uh, let me give a uh, letter Z and click on the search button. So, okay, we found the results, but somehow it is showing me all the results, which is not right because I typed the letter Z and instead of showing me some specific results, it is somehow showing me all the results. Something is not right in the uh, component. So let's debug it. So we know that um, as soon as we click on the search button, it makes, so it makes a network call to fetch the results from Apex. So let me click on the network tab and see like uh, the calls. So you can see these all calls were made. Now, where do you find your Apex call? So just uh, in the filter here, type Apex. So you can see that only one call was made and uh, if I click on it, and if I just make it a big screen, okay. So you can see that uh, it is calling the class contract uh, uh, contact controller. This is our class and it calls the method find contacts. It also shows us the params, the parameters uh, that were sent. So see that uh, the search key is empty. So this is the reason why we are getting all the results. So this is not correct. So we have to fix it. So we also have other tabs here. If you click on response, you will see what response that we got from that were returned from Apex. So we got these results. Now we have to debug and we have to fix it. So if you go to sources and uh, in the sources, uh, do control P. It will open a toolbar kind of like this and search for your LWC file name. In my case, the LWC file name is show async usage. So now I have opened up my LWC file and uh, I have uh, my methods here. I can see that we have the handle keychain and we have this method handle search asyncs, which uh, for which the call is made. So if I show you in my VS code as well, 
in my VS code, we can see that uh, this is like we are making the call to Apex. We have defined this method at the top and then we are giving it a search key. So let me uh, put a debug point here and let's see like what happens. Okay, so I am here. Uh, this will only print when the results are fetched. So uh, you can see that my code execution stopped here and it is showing me that it is paused in the debugger, paused at a breakpoint. Now I can just copy at the statement, I can just copy any variable. For example, I want to find what is the search key that is getting, uh, uh, that is being input to the apex call and I can go to console and then I can just type this. You can see the search key is empty. So that is the issue. Now, if I want to uh, ex, uh, resume the execution, I can click on this and it will just resume the execution. Now, what I can do, I can uh, go to my Apex and I can see that someone commented this line, which is causing the is issue. So this is like updating the this dot search key as soon as you type in any input. So I have removed the comment part of it. And then what I will do is I'll just uh, use the console.log statements and I'll just print my this dot search key here and then I'll just deploy this to deploy source to org browser just right click on the refresh button and click empty cache and hard reload okay so now um type in any value here. Let's say I type the alphabet Z again and I'll click, uh, I'll just do a debug here as well. And I have a debug here. So I have two debugs here on line number 121 and line number 125. I'll click on search. Now I have a debug here. And if I'll just copy this line and I'll just do a console of it. Right now our search key is correct. Awesome. Now, uh, Okay, now we have the we are on this debug we uh, don't want it to pause here let me click on resume okay so awesome now we are only getting those results which have z in it we fixed it so if i go to console you can see that uh, i'm uh, this is like our console statements are printing here so you the whatever console statements you write you can see that in the console tab as well, you can use the debug points and then you can just copy paste the variable and put it in the console to see their values. So this is how you debug the JavaScript file of an LWC. Awesome. Now, um, let's say you, now let's say you want to apply custom CSS on your any on your LWC. Now, instead of directly putting your styles in the uh, HTML file here, in the LWC here, you can first apply your styling in the browser and then use that styling back again in your LWC. So let's say that when you see this option, results not found, you want to apply, uh, you want to give this uh, text a red color. So how would you do it? So you just need to click on this icon, this mouse icon and here, and then click on this text. So this will take you to this uh, to the exact tag for this element. Now you can see that this lightning formatted text is present inside a P tag. So if I will click on this P tag and I'll just increase the window size. So you can see that in the right side, we have the element dot style uh, tab. So I can give here as color is equals to red. And now if I see here, and boom, our text got changed to red. Now, whenever we will see results not found, we want uh, this text to be in red. So what I can do is I can just copy paste this uh, CSS and I'll go to my HTML and I wherever I have this tag, I, I have it here. I'll just use the style attribute and input my CSS here directly, which I copied from the browser. Okay, now just uh, deploy source to org and uh, it will start deploying and do a hard refresh and now you'll see that by default the color would be red. Okay, awesome. So, uh, so that's all for today's video and uh, we learned how we can debug JavaScript uh, code in uh, our browser. We also learned how we can apply custom styling through our browser. 
सो होप यू लर्न समथिंग न्यू डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर सर्च वीडियोज इन द फ्यूचर थैंक्स एवरी वन फॉर वॉचिंग